Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today I'm gonna to show you how I do honey smoked turkey breast. I've got a couple large boneless skinless turkey breast here. I'm gonna get them seasoned and in some pecan smoke. I'm gonna finish them off with the honey and brown sugar glaze and use a little bit of raw sugar on top to give it a little texture and a little crunch. It's gonna be better than any of that honey baked stuff you can buy. Let's get to cooking. So these turkey breasts came out of my freezer. My buddy Kevin down at the butcher shop sent them to me back when I did that Texas smoked turkey breast. I thought it was a great time to do them here for Easter. I thawed them out for a couple days in the refrigerator, slow thaw, and then took them out of the package. Took the skin off the outside because I want them boneless and skinless. I didn't have to do much trimming to them, just cleaned them up just a little bit, took off any excess fat, a little of the silver skin. So I wanna get some seasoning on the outside of these turkey breasts. And this is one of my favorites for poultry, turkey, chicken, anything like that. This Swine Life Mississippi Grind's great because it has some savory notes, a little bit of sweet, but it's really balanced. And it gives poultry a very nice flavor. It's gonna be pretty color when it cooks up. Season the outside pretty generously. I'm not holding back. And we're gonna flip them and get the top side. And this is the side that's gonna cook up the entire time. You wanna make sure you get the edges. So that looks good for the seasoning. It's got good cover. It's kind of melted in. Now I wanna get some flavor, some moisture on the inside, and I'm using an injection. I've got Butcher's Bird Booster Honey mixed up. It's just one scoop of the Bird Booster, two cups of water. And you just wanna move your injection spots out. We're putting about a cup at each turkey breast. I'm not overly saturating it, but you can see it's kind of blowing up. Some of it might leak out, that's okay. And you could also brine these breasts if you wanted to, just a simple brine, brown sugar, water, salt. Anything you wanna to do to get some flavor on the inside would be perfect. And I'm just gonna let these turkey breasts hang out here on the cutting board while I fire up my grill. Now today I'm gonna to be cooking on my pellet grill. I've got my Traeger going. I'm gonna set the temperature at 300 degrees. I've got some pecan pellets in there for smoke. I really love that flavor that pecan gives, but you could use whatever flavor pellets you want. When the grill comes up to 300 degrees, we'll put these turkey breasts on and start cooking them. The Traeger is sitting right on 300. I'm just gonna take these breasts, put them right on the rack, kind of in the center. And you wanna set them just how you want them to cook. So I just kind of tighten them up, push them up a little bit. We're not gonna move them. I'm gonna hit them with just a little bit more grind, fix any spots that I may have had from picking them up where it melted in. And I'm ready to close the lid on the Traeger, let it work its magic. All right, after 45 minutes, I'm coming back in, checking on these turkey breasts. Color's looking good. You can see the rub setting on the outside. What I'm gonna do now, I've melted a couple sticks of butter here in a small pan. And I'm just gonna braste it over the top. I'm just gonna use this butter to get some moisture on top, some of that butter flavor on the outside, on that bark we're creating. It's gonna make them brown up real pretty. And I'm not really brushing, I'm just kinda letting that butter drizzle all over the top of these turkey breasts. They look really good, smell fantastic. Also gonna get a probe right in the thick part of this turkey breast. Now right now I've got my Thermalwax Dot set for 150. That's when I'm gonna start glazing them, let that glaze cook on. You can see it's about 102 right now, so we've probably got you know another hour total cook time. Uh, we'll check on these in about another half hour, baste them with butter again, see if it's time to start glazing. So it's been about 30 more minutes. Total cook time's been an hour and 15. Those turkey breasts are looking fantastic. I wanna go ahead and brush them with a little more butter. The butter's doing its magic by making them turn brown. I'm ready to eat some now, I don't know about y'all. Just gonna get it closed, come back, check on about 15 minutes. We've reached 150 on these turkey breasts. Now they're looking exactly like I want them to. I mean, that crust is really tightened up. The butter's made it look fantastic. I've mixed up a glaze here, some brown sugar, some honey, a little apple juice, a little orange juice. It's going on the outside. This is our glue for our raw sugar. I'm just gonna drizzle it over the top. I'm not brushing the turkey breast. Just letting it run down. It's gonna be sticky, it's gonna be sweet. It's gonna mix with those spices in the seasoning. Once you get it covered pretty good, I've got some sugar in the raw in a little dredge here. And this is gonna give us that sugary texture, that honey baked texture on the outside. The heat's gonna melt the sugar. It's gonna kind of caramelize over it. It's gonna give it that almost praline-like crust on the outside of the turkey breast. That looks fantastic. About 15 more minutes, we're gonna be done. I'll be ready to take them off. You know I gotta slice it up and try one. So these turkey breasts have been glazing about 15 minutes and you can see that sugar's melted down now. It's kind of creating that crunchiness on the outside of it. And I'm just gonna check with my Thermapen 160, that's perfect. That's exactly where I want them. 
feel great, I'm calling them. I want to get them off five degrees before 165. They're going to carry over. I'm going to take them out, put them on the cutting board. So let's just slide them out here. Check that out. I mean, that's a beautiful honey smoked turkey breast with the little raw sugar glazed over the top, creating that crust. That's absolutely beautiful. All right, so I just let these turkey breasts hang out here on the cutting board for about 15 minutes. Let them calm down. Let them cool off a little bit. Now, I can't wait to slice them up. I mean, they look beautiful. They got that beautiful texture, that crunch on the outside. I don't know if you can hear it, but that, sh that sugar kind of caramelizes a little bit. It makes a sugary crust all over it. Now, to slice them up, I'm going to cut them thin, and all I'm doing is taking my slicer knife. On the thin side of the edge, you want to skew the knife a little bit, so you get a little bit taller slice. As you come up the turkey breast, you can kind of straighten the knife up. But down here on this end, you get some beautiful slices by just angling that knife just a little bit. It's so easy to cut up. You can make them as thick or as thin as you want. Now we're starting to get up into the taller pieces so I can kind of straighten my knife up a little bit. And I'm just cutting them about a quarter inch thick. Number two pencil slice. If you wanted to shave it, you wanted to cut it thinner for sandwiches, you could. For serving it for a nice dinner, this is exactly how I would do it. Let me just kind of fan it out here so you can see this turkey. And it's juicy. It's cooked all the way through. That is absolutely gorgeous. I see plenty of honey smoked turkey breast sandwiches in my future. Beautiful Easter dinner. I'm gonna leave one of them whole. I'm gonna reheat it later on in the week. But I get a ton of slices out of one of these turkey breasts. It's enough to feed a family. You'll still have some left over. Now I've gotta get a piece out. I'll take one out of the center here. And look at that turkey breast. Moisture through and through. We've got it perfectly cooked. It's cut across the grain there, so you know it's gonna be tender. I'm gonna get a bite right out of the center. I wanna taste that sugary glaze pecan smoke oh man the injection's perfect in it. it's got a ton of flavor in the meat doesn't just taste like plain turkey that's a winner wow that swine life rub does an awesome job bringing some savoriness to it it's got that beautiful color on the outside and then the sweetness is balanced out with the glaze we put on it so good that is incredible turkey all I did was take two boneless, skinless turkey breasts, season them with the Swine Life Mississippi Grind, shot them up with the Butcher's Bird Booster Honey, got them in that pecan smoke, brushed them with a little melted butter to make that color on the outside kind of golden brown. Then I whipped up that simple glaze, brown sugar, honey, little orange juice, little apple juice, and then dusted the top with the sugar in the raw to create that sugary crust on the outside. That's the honey baked effect, all done on a grill. So if you're looking for a turkey recipe to try for Easter, give this one a shot. It's going to be better than anything you could order. Thanks for checking us out here at How to Barbecue Right. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to the channel. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And Shell and I will talk about this recipe and all the other delicious stuff we're cooking on our podcast. We'll even release the video version of that later next week. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We'll see y'all next time. I love this recipe. It's great on, that glaze is great on ham, but it's even, man, it, on turkey, it is phenomenal. What, what did I say, Shell? Winner, winner, turkey dinner. Got me goblin. <laughs>